and so it begins. Hello guys, Matthew Moss right here, and welcome to my upgrade vlog on my MacBook Pro to Yosemite, which was made available yesterday, and I literally just been able to download it. So yeah, let's jump right in. Sorry. Okay, always in Yosemite. Tell the installation. I agree. Macintosh HD. Okay, still. I type in my password. And let's see how long it's going to take. It's such a. I just want to point out the reason I'm looking rather scruffy and I've got my pyjamas on is because it's here in the UK is 07 18 hours which is 7 or 18 minutes past 7 so this is very early in the morning for me doesn't look that great outside but yeah it's probably preparing to install so that's taking about 40 sorry, sorry about that. 43 seconds until that's done, then it will restart, and then the actual installation will no doubtly begin. So, yes, yeah, stay tuned for an update. Okay, close off the applications. Let's take my headphones off. It's now going to restart, so let's see it in action. I don't think it's going gonna, it's gonna to want to focus. For no bong? Aww, oh, you didn't give me a bong. Okay, that's new. Okay, I'm gonna cut this bit out, so I'll see you in a minute. I don't know if you'll be able to see that. I don't can't seem to get that to focus. There we go. It's about 21 minutes until your sentence be the operating system on um, my MacBook Pro, which I'm looking forward to. Um, the one feature that I'm going to miss from this version, you know, from the previous versions of OS X to this version, is Dashboard, because I've be, I used Dashboard quite a lot on my MacBook Pro and my, um, coincidentally, my Power Mac. It was, it was a great piece of kit and it's a shame to see that go but that's going to be replaced by the notification center so might not be all bad eh so yeah that's what I'm going to miss and uh, now everything looks spect spectacular the new spotlight the new safari itunes I mean, you know it looks fabulous like we can't wait to use it this Question my main concern is if Illustrator and Flash Professional is going to work on this, particularly Illustrator because I'm using this in art. So, yeah, I cannot wait. I'm do something for the next 21 minutes and I'll give you an update when it comes to restarting it. Success so far. Okay, we're now on the last stretch. We start now on the last stretch of the installation. Hopefully, give me a bong. No, oh, what a shame. I was hoping for a bong. Oh, we're back here again, are we? Okay, I was on the switch, please. And we're back, and we're now at the start screen. No, the lock, 
the login screen, which does look massively different than the one in Mavericks, Mountain Lion, and Lion. So yeah, let's have a quick look at it. It's just really like a blurred background with buttons and one. I like it. I like this new minimalist and you know, simplistic look, and I think I'll enjoy using this version very much. Can't would help if I could type in the blind password. Right there we go. During the first time preparations. I thought they would have changed the beach ball icon, but there you go. I think we're almost done now. Nope. Spoke too soon. Oh, there we go. Yeah, I'm also going to load my background first. And then the then the dark and then the top bar was I know it was called. Okay, typed in my password. Terms and conditions, I agree. I have agreed to iCloud, Game Center and all that stuff. iCloud Drive. And okay, yeah, yeah, it's just saying that I don't want to upgrade them. Look at that um, radius button, that looks really cool. I like that. Yeah, just saying, until because probably this information hasn't been synced yet, this is upgrade to Yosemite. It's just saying that I won't be able to use iCloud Drive on my iPad, my iPad Mini, or my MacBook Pro. I'm aware of that, so not now. Don't upgrade. We like this design. Share Quest apps. Yep. Setting up your Mac. Okay. And there's the new dock. There's the App Store. Oh my, look at that. Look at the preview. I have the icon for photos. That's awesome. So this is the new dock. I really like it very much. It's very cool and I can't wait to start using it. Um, SMC, where did that start? Yeah, SMC will start the way up. 31 degrees. That's toasty. New icons everywhere. You know, look at that. That's beautiful. So, okay, let's be with you in a moment. Mail upgrade, upgrading mail. Type in my password so that won't bug me. See, so upgrading mail database, okay. About this Mac. New icons everywhere. Yeah, okay, I know I signed into that. About this Mac. You didn't tell me or wait there we are. There we go. Always ten Yosemite. MacBook Pro fifteen inch early two thousand eight. There's the specs, yes. And yeah, that's it, basically. Displays built in display 1440 by 900 storage oh I didn't think that we're going to change the icon for the hard drive right, so that's nice close that memory yep so that's cool and that's basically it guys thank you so much well before I actually go into that last part 
the reason I wanted to upgrade to Yosemite Center and Cleaning Soil is because I haven't had it for that much, so I just want to do an upgrade to so doing a cleaning stall. So maybe next year when 10.11 comes out, I'll up, uh, do a cleaning stall. But until then, I upgrade to version 10.10. .10. It's very exciting. I love the new UI. I've been waiting for that for a while now. Wow, dashboard's still actually there. It's got some changes, but it's still there. Yeah, I'm surprised for that. So anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching this vlog, and I'll see you in my next video. Peace.